All right, guys. Here we are. In the Captain Sim Triple Seven Freighter. So it's Triple Seven Three Hundred. We're gonna fly from Colorado Springs. We're gonna fly in L Nav, V Nav, autopilot on, up over Falcon Stadium, which is the Air Force Academy football stadium, and then over the Air Force Academy itself before proceeding to Vail and landing at Eagle on a short runway in mountainous terrain with a grossly overweight airplane. This airplane is 777-300 freighter. As I mentioned, I actually fly this for a living at the moment. I retire in September 2023 from major U.S. airline after 36 years with the airline, seven years with the Air Force. Before that, the Air Force Academy. So this is, yes, this is my alma mater that we're going to fly over like you care, right? Um, if you wouldn't mind uh, dropping a subscribe and like, if you like it, that'd be great. So we're going to see how this works out. We are way overweight, 560s max landing weight. We'll be landing at about 720, 730 on a short runway in the mountains, Eagle. Let's say we're on this freighter flight and we're bringing in a tremendous amount of uh, ski products and lobster from Boston for the rich people. Anyway. Let's go see how this works out. Uh, Captain Sim, if you haven't flown the 777, it's, it flies okay. If you go to a mo flight model, if you go to modern and sensitivity, you should go to default. Flight model, the modern sensitivity is default. And you turn off the auto throttles. I'm, I, you can hand fly it, autopilot, auto throttles off. And uh, it flies quite well. But we'll see how the automation works. You normally bring the throttles up to 50%. Check for reasonableness before you went toga. Today we're going right to Toga and turning off the parking brake. High altitude, 6,200 foot elevation here. Air Force Academy is around a little over 7,000. So at climbing to 10,000 will be about 3,200, 3,800 feet above the ground. Big things you'll notice performance-wise, naturally, it's slow to accelerate at this altitude. Uh, 80 knots acceleration check, cross cockpit, everyone's got the same thing. Static, uh, pedostatic system up here so far not to be clogged. V1's automated, we're, after V1 we're going. Slow to accelerate, max power. Pilot not flying, pilot monitoring calls out rotate, rotate. And normally you bring it up to 12 to 15 degrees on this airplane. This altitude, it's only around eight. Positive rate on the altitude indicator. Gear up. And we fly, fly, follow the command bars. So our normal clean engine out altitude is around uh, 800 AFL, so around 7,000 feet. And our cleanup altitude is around 1,000 AFL. I'm not going to answer the radios, by the way. Take a look over here. This is a bar, a white bar. That top of that white bar is 1,000 feet. That's when we'll clear it up. But once you're we're at flaps 10, which is 7.4 flaps setting, by the way, you can bring the flaps up to 5. Once you hit flaps 5, we're above 1,000, we're cleaning up. You can go to flaps 1. Once you hit flaps 1, you can bring the flaps up. Now, we're super heavyweight. Our clean min maneuvers way above that. So we're going to bring it up to 280. We'd advise ATC for operational reasons. We'll need 280 knots below 10,000. All right, so there it is. There's flaps 1 down here. I can bring flaps up. And uh, it's flying nicely, all trimmed up, autopilot on. Climbing to 10, LNAV, VNAV, 280. I'm going to turn this on. The reason, guys, last time it just kept accelerating. So it should level at 10. Is it going to do it? Nope, it's not going to. So I'm going to click 10, altitude put these throttles on like this all this is jury rig the BNAV LNAV it should have worked perfectly this is Colorado Springs sorry about the radio calls see the airport off to the right there Colorado Springs head up over the stadium Rocky Mountains out to the west it's beautiful here foothills weather's cooled it's a uh, you can get a snowstorm and the next day it's 90 degrees now the airplane's trying to descend down to uh, the altitude that I hit. Father time, 
The L2 hole. So it all should have worked in LNAV, VNAV, but it didn't. So I'm going to use 500 foot per minute up to 10,000, and we'll just do 280 knots at 10,000 feet. And we'll look outside. So the Air Force Academy, this is the Air Force Academy airfield. They do uh, glider work over here. Actually do a little pilot screening. Isn't that cool? So we're going to fly over the football stadium, fly over the academy, buzz the academy. So now it's all working pretty good. But I had to take it out of uh, VNAV. just did not work. You know, just like the real airplane, if it's not doing what you want it to do, you take it over manually. Normally we go click, click. We go click off the uh, yoke for the autopilot and these auto throttles here, and we fly the airplane. It does happen. Usually it's pilot error. You're having, you didn't program it properly. All right, so Air Force Academy. This looks like the stadium down here. Let's see if we can zoom in a little. Yeah, it's a football stadium, home of the Air Force Academy uh, Fighting Falcons. Right down here. Not bad. And from here, we'll fly up over the Air Force Academy. That's the parade grounds. This is the academic building, dorms, dorms, that's a chapel. It's made out of aluminum. They re renovated it shortly, not so long ago. This is the uh, varsity baseball field, lacrosse field. These are the practice field for the cadets. I played rugby, we played rugby down here. This is the uh, indoor athletic facility. This is the cadet indoor gym. This is for the varsity athletes. These are outdoor tennis courts. There's the United States Air Force Academy. That's, we pre, we uh, march to lunch and breakfast every day into here. And this is where we eat, Mitchell Hall. It's a visitor center. You get the idea. Now, we probably need to climb up a little bit, get up above the mountains. Just go flight level change. Altitude. And we'll go up to uh, 17,000, okay? 2,500 is radio altimeter call out. Veil's up at 8,000 feet. Right out of 10, we ding the flight attendants, but we don't have any flight attendants. Oh, we're in cargo airplane. What was I thinking? Anyway, 10,000, that was a good flyover altitude. Not such a good altitude to go over Vail Pass. <clears throat> they call it Vail Pass for good reason. It uh, passes through the mountains. Very uh, treacherous road, sometimes closed during snowstorms. And right now we're in flight level change, which maintains 280 knots, climbing up to 17,000, which I know is a good altitude going through here. Probably get away with 16. Let's go with 15. See if it'll level off at 15 for us. Move out the range for situational awareness. Wonder if I can get a little nav map up. Ah, it's already running. Okay. Here we are. Where are we going? Here we're going. EGE, Eagle, runway 25. So we're going to come in here, try to do a little VFR approach. There is a uh, RNAV approach and an ILS approach, but we're going to try to do a little VFR action into Eagle if we can see it. It's a special qual on the actual airlines. Seems to be trying to level off at 15. Come on, Big Mama. Anyway, so that was it. Super heavyweight takeoff. And things you'll notice, uh, it's slow to accelerate, slow to decelerate for that matter, at high altitude. 
so we would have done the after takeoff climb checklist, <coughs> cruise checklist. <coughs> we'll be briefing the approach now. So um, go down in here. Parches and rivals. Eagle. LDA RNAV. Yeah, let's go with Kimball. I don't know why. Let's do that. And then we'll go here. Legs. Kimball. Kimball. Execute. And let's go out and see how that looks. I don't have any approach plates with me here. kind of good I think we go direct powers actually I think yeah let's go direct powers probably gonna be pretty steep descent on in there we'll see about that and powers is at 12 1 yeah I think that now that I'm doing this I think I remember Kimball you have to come up over Kimball to make that descent in the valley. So we'll have to pay attention here because there, there are mountains right there, right across. Um, but we're going to try it since we are in the sim. Right now it says uh, Powers is 68 miles away. And we're going to arrive there. Yeah, so the altimeters will just say it's 2092. 2047. Z. Anyway, kind of cool. Let's take a look around. <clears throat> Probably right at our altitude. Might get a little bit of a train on the uh, radio altimeter flying through here. All right, so we're also going to go, we'll go four on the brakes. We'll take a look at the speed that we're planning on. Pups 31.59. So I'll go bang. Bang tells the box we're planning on Pups 30. We'd arm the spoilers when the time came, but it doesn't arm in the sim. So it'll be max reverse. Get on the brakes. Get a touchdown. High altitude, high ground speed because of the high altitude get this bad boy stopped. We'd naturally, we'd be worried about brake temps here. We'd, we'd go back to Denver International uh, rather than land this grossly overweight, but we got to get those lobsters and ski equipment into Vail, so we're going to actually do it today. Right, let's take a look. You know what I have is a Toby eye tracker, and man, I cannot get that thing. It makes me sick to watch it. Um, with the lights, get these up a little brighter. Outboard display inboard display. Yeah, it helps a little bit. Flood shouldn't help much. It's actually a master switch here that turns all the lights off, but the, everything has to be, see that little dot? All these switches have to be in the dot position, which there'd be one here for it to work. But anyway, that's good. So we're going to go to powers. Powers we talked about at 12.1. Plan to cross powers at 12.1. This is 310 knots. 12 one at powers and then we'll start our descent on now if you go to data you can get a depiction on the uh, nav display that echoes or repeats what's on the legs page all right so 159 flaps 30 auto brakes to four uh, spoilers would be armed when the time came max reverse short runway worried about hot brakes Powers is still 53 miles away. Yeah, I don't know what these at what altitude these uh, mountains are at. I do believe if you go at 17 in uh, domestic, you're safe. We'll take a look. Let's try to fly by at 15. I don't have a terrain map here. I don't think we can select terrain. Let's see. Terrain. Yeah, it works. 
kind of cool. Okay, here we go. Fly in the veil. It's actually kind of pretty. <clears throat> it's probably the highway. Veil Pass. Yeah, they close it during snowstorms a lot. I remember once driving my girlfriend, future wife, and uh, we were in a Fiat Spider I borrowed from an upperclassman, and the, a snowstorm hit, and Dummy was me, by the way, was stuck there. Um, not positive about going through here at 15. We're going to try it. Naturally, we're going to take any chance in a regular real airplane. Rocky Mountains. Yeah, continental U.S., if you're at 17, <coughs> it's usually a good altitude everywhere for mountainous. Funny thing is, I'm flying to India right now in 30. The mountains, the Himalayas are up at 27,000. Yikes. All right, so how are we doing here? Let's decrease the scale. Let's see, we don't want to go over there. This mountain looks like it's a little higher than uh, probably up around 14. Still 37 miles from Powers. Well, I'll try to cross Powers. They're at 12.1. What airspeed do they recommend that you should be at at Powers? 235, so nice and slow. Yep, that's going off because we are right there, right near the mountains. Told you. Never take this chance. A real airplane would be up plenty high. Just beautiful. So we're going to go to Vail Pass and put this down in Eagle. Yeah, this is uh, interesting. So normally, like I mentioned before, we fly over Kimball before we started losing altitude. That's a, uh, to get us past this range right here. So uh, this is not something we try at home. Is Vail Pass right up ahead of us? Incredible. Vail Pass up here. We'll probably get another uh, 2,500 here. Just beautiful. Vail Pass. This road uh, winds on up through the hills. I'm getting a big kick out of this, actually. Or how far are we from uh, Powers? 26 miles. See the trains dropping off, so we may be able to get down. Yeah, normally you come up over Kimball, left turn, and you'd stay on the uh, Arnav arrival, which drops you down into this valley here. It's all safe. Getting out of there, uh, you got to really have your stuff together. If you were to lose an engine, there's a whole procedure to get out of the valley. We fly uh, in here. Only special airplanes. Used to be the 75. I would believe we believe bring uh, A319s in. So you have to have certain performance specs for engine out. Triple sevens, two engine, of course, more than capable of doing it. Probably even at max gross weight, close to it. Uh, maybe not, but uh, you know we don't take chances because you've got to have the engine out capability. So you can see Vale Valley here, right up in here, Beaver Creek, up in there. All right, so I believe we can. Once we get past here, I'll start dropping down to 12.1, which is my power's altitude. I'd use VNAV, but it doesn't work. It does not work. So we are 18 miles from powers. Let's put in 12.1. Use my handy-dandy Logitech. 
and we're going to use vertical speed 12 1 we've cleared for the approach we'll say that okay kids let's use this thousand down to 12 1 let me see how this looks wouldn't have to worry about this if we're over Kimball should have left that in but we're going to try to fly it like this once we get on course on overpowers should be fine yeah we're going to be fine famous last words I don't know all right going down to 12 1 overpowers after that as I mentioned in the real airplane you could just uh it's 11 1 over AWAC Okay. Going down to 12 1. Let's start bringing the airspeed back. The box says that we should be at around 235 knots over powers. Speed for flaps 1 is 265. Start bringing up the vertical speed a little so we can slow down a little better. Nine miles to powers. Once we get, we got to be below 20,000 feet for the flaps. Let's just do this. Vertical speed, bring that up to 200 feet per minute. Looking for 265. There it is, flaps one. And now our next speed, 245 for flaps five. And hustle on down a little bit more. Able to put a little speed brakes out. There we go. 235 flaps one. And I'll even bring the speed back a little more. 220. All right, power is four miles out. We have 1,000 to go. It says we should be at 12-1 at powers. Then 11-1 at AWAC. Yeah, it'd be nice if we could... Um, Real nice. We go flaps 15 in here, but it's flaps 10 in this uh, because it's the 7.4 model. All right, let's get this down a little range, a little. Here comes powers in one mile. We're a little high. All right, and altitude 11.1. AWAC at 11.1. Okay. So we're L Navin it. AWAC's 11.1. What airspeed did they think we should be at? 214. We're at 215. We'll go to 214. So 214 going down to 11.1. From there, it says Nepri at 60 by 50. So once we hit AWAC, which is at three miles, 12-1 for 11-1, we'll go down to Nepri at 65-50 um, as we make our approach. We'd have a, oh, look at, we are picking up some sort of a glide path there. Kind of cool, but we're not picking up a localizer. Okay, there's AWAC, vertical speed, 6550, NEPRI. All right, so let's get gear down. Start bringing this airspeed back. What do we say, 159? Altitude 6550, 66. We'll just get right down to that a little change. There's the runway. See it down here? 
still got the speed brakes out. I'm going to take it over. Autopilot's off. And whenever I take the autopilot off on Captain Sim, I take these guys off. Not so much in the airplane, but on this one. All right. And we're going to bring ourselves down. Might need a little speed brakes here. You can see out here how it would be complicated departure if you are to lose an engine. There's a whole procedure you fly to climb out of Bayo Valley. Got to be real careful. And here we come with our lobsters. We got uh, flaps coming to 30, below 180, close enough. Looking for 159. That little glide path there on the right on the PFD looks like it might be kind of accurate, even though we don't have a localizer. Don't know what that is because we don't have a localizer and we don't have um, VNAV really, but we're going to use it. It's kind of accurate. All right, so short runway, try to touch down, brick one, center line, get right into max reverse. We'd have auto brakes at four. 500. 400. 300. Plane slow to respond with uh, this low. I don't know about that little glide, glide path there. Little drug in, guys. Not not good. reverse not my best work but uh, it is coming to a stop here we go dare we taxi it want to try oh it's not letting me taxi nothing to work there okay uh, there you go. Not my best landing, but uh, that was uh, Denver. I mean, Colorado Springs over Falcon Stadium, over the Air Force Academy. Little home trip for Captain Father Time and uh, into uh, Vail. Super heavyweight landing in the 777 Freighter by Captain Sim. Don't forget to subscribe and like if you care. Uh, Father Time's out.